in Viro Stereo AIE 2006, presumably 1978 or later. This is the documentation of the experience of a hobby project, made with the hope that it could be helpful to others. But any comment that could help me to improve my practice is also welcome and appreciated. Unlike most of the other videos in this series, this particular one shows a very simple cleaning process, and there is no extra written documentation attached to it. This has been an expensive portable stereo, something that at its time would have been called a boombox because of its powerful sound output. The maker was AIE, Asia International Electronics, and it was marketed mostly with the brand Williamson's. There are at least two slightly different models, AIE 2000 and AIE 2006. With the model AIE 2006, this portable stereo appeared also in Italy with the brand Radio, which corresponds to the item of this video. The item arrived very dirty and with important damages, showing a story of intense usage. The battery compartment cover was missing. The cassette deck door was broken, and it appeared later that someone else already tried to repair it, but unsuccessfully. Having no interest and also insufficient skills for fixing the cassette mechanism and door, a plan was made for cleaning the item with the only hope to get the radio section working properly. A slow process of initial external cleaning starts, using only a mild detergent. The purpose is not yet to get a fully clean item, but just to remove the most important dirt before opening the plastic case. The job must be done without leaking detergent into the speaker cones. This set has seven speakers. There are six screws to remove for opening the back panel. Someone was already here and left the back speaker disconnected. It is now possible to clean inside the back panel. The electrical arrangement inside this set is intimidating due to the amount of wires directly soldered between the various boards. At the moment, only the loudspeakers seem to have a removable connector. Before thinking of powering on this set, one should pay attention to the input voltage selector and on the fuse. Whenever anything becomes accessible, 
It is a good idea to clean for what is possible, always paying attention to all the delicate parts, especially the thinner wires. Before removing the upper panel, it is necessary to extract the knobs and to separate the telescopic antenna. Unfortunately, the antenna posts will have to be disoldered. Cleaning is always appropriate. An early test seems promising, provided that all the switches and potentiometers are cleaned with a contact cleaner. Before thinking of the front panel, the antenna post must be disoldered to be able to separate completely the upper panel. The removal of the front panel starts from the phone socket. It is difficult, but eventually I made it. Various screws hold the front panel attached to the internal body of the radio, and they are accessible only from behind. There is a sort of spring bracket that keeps the alignment with the cassette deck and practically holds it. It must be released in order to separate the front panel from the body of the radio. The loudspeakers of the front panel are connected on the rear with a plug that is now extracted.
time for some more cleaning. These potentiometers, as well as the I.O. panel, are on the rear, but they have not been cleaned before, and they should not be left behind. This set has some lever switches, but it has lost all the labels describing their functions. However, for the radio functions, they can be left all in the upper position, knowing that the last one on the right could be used for powering off the set. During this test, these levers appear to be needing more contact cleaning. Together with the contact cleaning, the second lever is repaired using a small tubular spacer held in place by a screw. The set is then put back together starting from the phone socket that should return accessible from the front panel. Also the front and lateral loudspeakers are connected to the right side board, but that is not visible in this clip. The screws holding the front panel to the body of the set are put back again. Here only the insertion of a couple of them is visible in the clip. To protect the set from the dust, for each accessible control a piece of cloth is prepared. These pieces of clothes would remain invisible under the upper panel.
Before putting back the upper panel, the antenna wires must be soldered back to their posts. Before putting in place the back panel, the rear loudspeaker is connected to the board on the right side. Please notice that the input voltage selector has been glued to the 230 volts position to avoid useless dramas with a possible wrong selection. What remains to do is cleaning and putting back knobs and push buttons. With great care, cassette is put back in the broken deck just for the aesthetic. One might have noticed the bumps on the dial scale of this set. The bumps are made by some hard glue that presumably was used by someone servicing the set sometime in the past. Unfortunately, there is nothing to do about it except from printing a new dial scale, which, however, would make sense only on a full electrical and mechanical restoration of the set. Here is the Enviro Stereo AIE 2006 after all the cleaning. No components had to be changed, and no alignment was performed. The test starts with the long wave band and proceeds with the higher frequency bands up to the FM. Thank you. 
برداشتان سمان نیخ ایتیلیزیان Come 
pazzesco. Ci sono molte persone. E vedete, è aumentato del 59%. Sei fortunato. Con 24. Quindi senz'altro. Per realizzarla. No, è andato via subito, eh? Subito. Comunque ci sarà dello scelta, anche un segno di miglioramento. Ma anche non è della parrocchia. Italiane, sta meglio Papa Francesco. Italia Cult sul Torino nell'Empoli di Italia. E ora potrà ricevere le sette Monte Premi 18 mila. Le macchine per la pulizia industriale vendute senza. Sì, Propone una prima. Ne dà paura. Siamo. Caro attrezzi, rimuovono la macchina. Al sette. 